Since we have graphing calculators, sometimes it's nice to take a look at the graph of the function. Looks like I need to have it go up a little bit more than 10. So take a look at the graph of the function and find out, well, if we're looking for our minimums and maximums, how many are there? So we've got one relative maximum there and a relative minimum there. You can almost see on the graphing calculator that it looks like it went horizontal. Well, it's got a, it didn't actually, it went around a curve, but it's got a horizontal tangent line. So the tangent line would be going straight across like that, or at the top it would be going straight across, which means that the derivative is equal to zero. So that's the first thing to do is take the derivative, which is a 3x squared minus a 5, and then set that equal to zero, and solve for x. And since we've got an x squared, we sure enough are going to get two answers. So add 5 to both sides, divide by 3, and then at the end, take the square root, and we get positive or negative, the square root of 5 thirds. And so when we take a look at the graph, the sketch is approximately like this. Then we've got a relative maximum right here. And what I can do on the calculator is both check my answer and get the decimal values at the same time. So go to trace and plug in the negative square root of 5 thirds. And that's at negative 1.291 comma 10.303 for the maximum value. And then the minimum value would be over here when we substitute the square root of 5 divided by 3 positive. So that's at 1.291 and for the y value 1.697.